That's the steer right there. So here I am at Resorts World, and uh, that's the MSG sphere I was just pointing out. And uh, they definitely have an Asian theme going here. I don't know why they say they got rid of it. The colors and the architecture definitely look Asian to me. But, uh, and I know they got a lot of Asian eateries in there, in, inside, so. Yeah, we'll take a look. Yeah, what's up folks, I'm back. I still have heart failure, but I got my new refill, my new medications. I'm still alive, barely, but I'm still, <laughs> still kicking. Still trying to do videos for you guys. So let's see what's inside. I just gotta check this out for myself. Yep, that's real marble. Water saver feature, all marble. Fabric wall, fancy. Phoenix. These are cherry blossoms. Here's more Michael Fox. Rolls Royce. How many different colors can we make it in? So Resorts World was built on the old Stardust Hotel. And so that's the reason why they have this behind me. It's kind of like an homage to the old Stardust.
So if you're ordering food from the food court, the street food court, apparently the way you order is you do it through the kiosks. They have those, these little kiosks with the screens like all over inside and you make your order through the screen and you can order from any of the restaurants from any of the kiosks. So you pay for the food through the kiosk and then uh, you'll get a text message with your order and then you wait and then you'll get another text message when the food is ready for pickup. So this is really convenient because this way you don't have to sit there and wait. You can just walk around and do other stuff or try to find a table to eat, which is what I did basically. So that's how the street food area works. And uh, my meal was $20 for the duck with the rice and the pickled cucumbers. It was good. It wasn't worth $20. You can get way better. The value wasn't very good, but it was, you know, it was a good experience and I, you know, I just wanted to get a feel for it. So that was good. Uh, I learned something. At least I learned how to order food. So yeah, I mean, not bad. I got this uh, cute little coconut thing. It's like a souvenir. It was like 12 bucks. Real coconut juice, but it's good. So yeah, everything's kind of pricey, but everything's new and cute. They got some, uh, yeah, some interesting things there I've never seen before at the gift shop. So uh, yeah, overall a nice experience, a nice place. Uh, the restaurant, the food selection is definitely has a Southeast Asian bent. Um, a lot of Taiwanese. Uh, I saw at least two Malaysian restaurants. Uh, beef noodle soup down on the end on the far left. That's Taiwanese. Uh, there's some Texas barbecue. Uh, a couple of uh, American food items, but, but not too much. It's mostly Asian. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a nice place. Uh, I really like the marble floors, marble walls. Uh, you know, I really like the architecture they're using in here. It's very, this casino resort feels different from the other casinos on the strip because it's a lot more modern. It's a lot more bright. Uh, the art, the art designs inside, they're very, uh, how do you say it? Irregular, like everything inside is wavy. The mirrors are wavy. The, you know, no, they, they try to make everything look like it's flowing, which is kind of nice. Very chic, very modern, very hip. So that was, that was cool. Uh, I'd say this, this casino is like a breath of fresh air, really. It's uh, compared to some of these other ones, Circus Circus is right across the street. Uh, somewhere over there. Circus Circus is very close. Fashion show is really close. It's right over there. I could pretty much just walk. Treasure Island, Trump Hotel is over here. And then of course you got the wind and the encore. Oddly enough, their buildings look just like this building here. It's kind of funny. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a nice uh, hotel, good experience, and uh, yeah, I'm glad I came here. I, I, I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to spending more time here. I want to check out some of those food options, even though they're kind of expensive. But uh, parking wasn't a big deal. Yeah, the parking structures over there it wasn't too far to walk, so that's kind of big for me. The in and out, you know, I don't want to be forced in a situation where you're parking in a super dark place and then you have to walk three what feels like three miles just to get to the food court the food court is actually right just past uh just past the inside as soon as you go through the, the entrance here it's on the right hand side it's not even that far away so yeah they make it easy for you uh, i'm excited to check out you know there's not they say that malaysian food is some of the best asian food that you're gonna find anywhere. And there's only one or two Malaysian restaurants that I know of in Vegas. And there's one on Spring Mountain Road that I've been to, and they were good, uh, but they weren't spectacular. So I really wanna try uh, some of the Malaysian food here. Okay, that's gonna do it for this vid. Uh, see you in the next.
Oh, one more thing uh, I wanted to touch on. Uh, I didn't see the uh, the pool area. I didn't I didn't see any signs saying this way to the pool. So I really wanted to check that out, but it just didn't. I, I didn't know where it was. So I, I mean, I wasn't really in the mood to ask around and find out where it was. So sorry about that.